Zoom. I'm going to talk a bit about zooming in AutoCAD. As you know, the most simple way of zooming, and the most common one, is to scroll the mouse wheel to reach the different parts of our project. However, for large projects, this can be a bit annoying to try to find specific areas. For that reason, there is the command zoom. Let's have a look at it. I type Z and press enter. Then, if you look at the command bar, you can see several ways to use zoom. The option by default is drawing a window on the workspace. For example, if I want to show the staircase division here, I draw a window covering that part and here is the result. So, I find this especially useful when I want to focus something specific, as the zooming is more precise in this area. Another way of using zoom is using the option All. This sets the zoom to cover all the drawing in this file including the position of the UCS coordinates in the corner here. Then, a similar option is the zoom extends. Very useful, by the way. I use it quite a lot. It shows all the objects covering the full screen. Here, the difference regarding zoom all is that the position of the UCS coordinates can be hidden. If I click on center, I pick a point to be placed in the center of the screen. Then, I specify the zoom height by drawing a line here. Simple. Now I'm going to show you something useful for larger projects. In this file, you can see all these drawings of a single architecture project. In this case, it's an exposition center. There are floor plans, sections, elevations, site plans and so on. On these controls at the top left corner, click on this one that says top. And here you can switch to a different view of the workspace. However, the ones here are useful when I have 3D drawings. Look that I can't see anything interesting when I switch to the left or right views. This is because everything in this project is two-dimensional and was created in the top plane. On the view cube, you can understand a bit better the location of the views by default, especially when you click in a corner to switch to an isometric view. Ok, but what I want to do now is actually create a custom view to show up a specific part. Let's go to one of the floor plans located here. And to be more precise, I zoom with window. Ok, now it's better. Then I go again to top and this time I click on view manager. I'm going to create a new view here on new. And first, I need to choose a name. It's going to be Esquema de Instalaciones Sanitarias. Yes, it's Spanish, but it means literally Sanitary Facility Scheme. Then, I can put it into a category. It's empty, so I can create a new one. Let's name it Floor Plans. The view type, I keep it still. I don't change it. For the boundary, I choose the current display and click OK to close. Here OK again. And then I go back to top and on custom views, I choose the one I just created and you can see it zooming automatically. OK, it's true that this floor plan was not very difficult to find. However, if you are working in a huge project with loads of drawings, Sometimes you can stay looking for a specific detail for ages, like those books where you need to find Waldo. So, now we want to zoom up to these objects. But this time let's do it a bit different. Go again to the view manager. Create a new view called Detail 1 and put it into a new category, Details. And in boundary, this time, I'm going to define a view window. I click in this button. Then, I search for the part that I want. Uh, 
I told you, it's hard. Where are they? Ah, here. So, make a window in the place where I want to zoom. I press enter when I'm ready and you can see a preview on the view manager. I click OK to confirm it and close. So, for the next time I want to go to the detail one, it's much faster. Charan. So it was everything for today, but this time before leaving, I want to mention that I just started a page of Patreon for Kelly Black. There you can support this channel to help me keep creating more content here. I would really appreciate that. Even of course, I'm already grateful that you find these videos available and that they are helping you to speed up your knowledge. Without your support, nothing of this would be possible. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.